All right. After a little bit of delay, I think it's time we got the show on the road. Uh, welcome to my uh, Gleaming Garmore's randomized Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke stream. Now, if you're not familiar with what a randomizer is, uh, let me just go over the basics of what I've done to this Pokemon Emerald game before we get started. So, um, let's see here. So first of all, I am going to have to open up the files for the Pokemon Emerald that I have randomized, just so that I can check on everything. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I have randomized every Pokemon's abilities um, and their evolutions. In addition, I've randomized the starter Pokemon, um, all static Pokemon, every in-game trade. Um, let's see here, what else? I've randomized Pokemon movesets, but prefer, but still they have a preference for moves of their own typing. Uh, what else did I edit? Um, oh yeah, trainers Pokemon are entirely random, except for the rival, who will carry the starter through the whole game. Now, we are playing Emerald, so you only fight the rival, like, what, three times in this game anyway? But they'll, they'll carry their starter. Um, the randomization of the actual, uh, Pokemon encounters will be, like, uh, will be one-to-one -one by the area, so, like, where I would find a Zigzagoon, I could find, like, I don't know, Latias or something, taking up that encounter slot. Um, TM, com TM compatibility is fully random. Every Pokemon can learn every HM. Um, Move Tutor moves are random. Move Tutor compatibility is random. Every item in the field is random, and then I also have a few um, a few neat tweaks. Like, um, the catching tutorial is random. Um, all the Pokemon's names will be in lowercase, so that we don't have to do what people did in, like, Gen 3 and 4, where they just named everything in all caps to keep it consistent. Um, we're going to have the national decks instead of the, uh, instead of the regional decks. We are, we are going to be able to run indoors, and we are going to have a text speed that's even faster than the fast text speed. Now, uh, let me actually start the freaking game already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. OBS, you got the game? Yeah, OBS has the game. That was just, that was just Twitch stream delay. Whoopsies on my part. OBS, you still good? Yeah? Okay. I can hear the video game, but I cannot see the video game. I'm just gonna hit, uh, I'm just gonna hit reset real fast, see if that fixes it. That fixed, uh, nothing. So I'm going to have to close, um, Visual Boy Advance all the way, and open it back up. Do-do, do-do-do-do. There we go. And so yeah, nothing's gonna look too weird until we actually start playing the game. Then things are getting kind of screwy. 
So every item we're going to pick up off the ground, uh, every Pokemon, everything is different. I have no idea what to expect. So before we do anything, yeah, fast text, um, battle scene on. Yeah, let's go with that classic frame. I'm not used to, um, to the Pokemon introductions happening in the Black Abyss. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. Well, I don't know what's wrong with the text box. Okay. Text? Okay, fastest text breaks the intro scene, I guess. Am I gonna have to go in and re-randomize the game and turn off fastest text? Because that would... that would sure stink. Hold on a second. I'm gonna see what happens if I set OBS to always on top. No, I should not do that, because I cannot access the video game. Oh, so like, all the text is broken now. I... Oh, okay, okay. So I think fastest text stacks with, like, your actual text. I think if I turn it back to mid, fastest text will just start working. There we go! The Pedalberg Gym is on. We missed the Pedalberg Gym. Okay, so unfortunately the run indoors uh, code does not start us with the run in shoes. That would have been really convenient and neat. Dangerous if I don't have a Pokemon. Okay. It's been so long since I played Gen 3 that I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so that son is having some pro- Hey, a Pokeball! Um, okay, Brendan. Nice, like, casual misogyny. Yeah, I don't have a Pokemon. Better leave it where it is. Fine. Okay, so here's the thing. Is we're about to get to the good stuff. There's a scary Pokemon outside. Oh, sure. So you're gonna stop me, but as soon as you get scared, now it's all about, like, sending me out there into the, into the face of danger. 
in the back there is a Pokeball. Porygon 2, Maynetric, and Unknown. We suck at this game. Wow. Wow, we, we are awful. I, I cannot believe it. We're the worst Pokemon players on the planet because we got Porygon 2 and Unknown as starter option. <sighs> None of these are good choices, so I think we're just going to take Maynetric. Allow me to update the, uh... Well, allow me to update the overlay real fast. You gotta scroll through... He's a Gen 3 Pokemon. Stop. Stop scrolling. Stop scrolling. We scrolled too far. Manetric. There we go. So yeah, we, we do choose Manetric. Because, like, when you're given that kind of choice? Like, is it really a choice at all? Okay, okay. Randomized moveset is pretty good, though. Let me, let me check some of these. Oh, I was about to check whether these are, like, physical or special or whatever, but, like, this is pre-physical special split, so we're fine. Shockwave never misses. We want to use Thunder Punch, and if we run out of Thunder Punch, we use Spark. So, uh, yeah, Rip Zigzagoon. Okay, here's the problem, though. I think this main edric might be just a little too good. It, we might have problems actually catching any new Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go to the lab. Um, yes, we pulled it off with a plumb. I should mention we are playing by uh, Duplicate's Claws. Which means that if I encounter a Pokemon that is of a species that we already have, we will not be catching it and we can re-encounter. Um, see, I was considering naming um, naming the main Etric after a character from the Adventure Zone, but like that character is like mildly problematic in execution. Uh, let's see here. We can get a name, though. Tandra. Tandra. Sure, sure, there's a name. See, sometimes you just have to make noises with your mouth until you reach a Pokemon nickname. Sure, let's go see Brendan. Can we get running shoes? I want to run. Wait, I don't want to be dumb. Did is it possible that Brendan is still in the house? It's been so long since I played Emerald. No? Okay. So yeah, th this is the part where we go to the next town. Now, we do not have a Pokedex or Pokeballs, so whatever we encounter here does not count. However, this will, this will let us scout ahead to see what kind of things we have if we get an encounter here. Or not, that's fine.
See, see, like, I won't be getting encounterless when we start doing speed rapid dash. That's a rapid dash. Okay. We also know that, like, Tandra will just kill whatever we point her at, so we have to be really careful. Yeah, yeah, that gave me a Maynetric! Isn't that freaking dope? <laughs> okay, I wonder what Brendan will have. <laughs> I forgot he does have to pull from the starter choices. So he gets Porygon too. Uh oh. Three. Okay, three times is enough. Let me post about the stream on Twitter one more time. Tandra, Tandra, you are such a good Pokemon. I take back everything I said about Tandra not being good. No! Stop! I take back every mean word I said about Tandra. I'm so sorry, Tandra. Please love me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Tandra just gained two levels from that. Fan Donna. Oh my god. So, oh my gosh. Tandra, you're you're dope. Oh, let me... let me send it. Oh yeah, and uh, credit for this really sick overlay design goes to one Venomous Vamp on uh, on DeviantArt. Um, they made a bunch of like free to use stream overlays, and they just said to credit them. So I'm crediting them right now. Venomous Vamp made the stream overlay, and it's great, and I love it. Um, hi, Brendan. Yeah, we should- we should hustle back to the lab, I guess. Oh, yeah, Ford, I see you in the chat. Milk drink, rip. Oh, hey, Ford. Hey, Ford. You got here late. So, check out this starter. This is Tandra. And she's got- <laughs> Some moves. <laughs> She's got some moves, all right. Oh, boy. God, okay. Okay, Birch, like, talk, talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, hi, Garboy! I heard you beat Brendan on your first try! Yeah, it only took, like, four Thunder Punches. Oh, my 
Yes, yeah. Okay, the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that records data on the Pokémon! We got Pokeballs. Now, the issue with these early routes is I'm just gonna have to chuck Pokeballs at whatever I see and hope they work. What what does the Pokedex say about Mainetric? We have to know. We have to know what the Pokedex says about Mainetric. We have to know. Where did I see a Zigzagoon? Oh, the Zigzagoon was fixed, right. Because lightning falls in their vicinities, Mainetric were thought to have been born from lightning. In battle, they create thunderclouds. Something just, like, clicked out of my window again. Hello, um... Guten Tag, Munter! <laughs> Adorable Pokemon. Yeah! I can run now! And, with the help of the Universal Pokemon Randomizer, I can even run indoors! Okay. Here, let's... Okay, what we got? Ah! <laughs> we literally just have to chuck the ball and hope it works. Powder snow! <laughs> What? We get the freeze hacks. <laughs> we, we we get freeze hacks on the first like actual real threat of the run. Okay. Um now it's time for me to add this jinx to the layout. Plus I... Oh, I've scrolled too far. So I have sprites of all these Pokémon arranged by Pokédex number. Um, so I do have to remember each one of their Natdex numbers in order to make this happen. Make that a tad bigger. There we go. Oh my god. A jinx sashays rhythmically as if it were dancing. Its motions are so bouncingly alluring, people seeing it are compelled to shake their hips without noticing. Yeah, we gotta nickname the jinx. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? So, you know, like, hashtag bring back the national decks, but, like, why did it have to be this one? I'm gonna say why me, but like that's it's been me.
Interesting trend, though, of, like, our all-ladies team, though. God, I don't want to spend any more time trying to nickname this Jinx. <laughs> Could we have gotten on this route? We could have gotten an executor! We could have had executor! And instead we got <laughs> Jinx! Tandra has runaway. <laughs> I didn't even notice. So first let's go back and heal and then we'll we'll scope out um We'll scope out the Jinx, uh, Karen. Yeah, I'm, I'm more than a little tired. Pokemon. Oh, Karen has an item, too. Karen has damp? <gasps> a macho brace? <laughs> Oh, that would have been scary. Oh, we've got rap, but we've got Gen 3 rap, so, like, who cares? My god, oh my god, terrifying. Okay, okay, so, I mean, we could have gotten an executor, but, like, Karen has sheer cold, so that's neat. But the thing to watch out for is that, that is that means that all of the Jinxes likely have Sheer Cold. I need to read the description of the Macho Brace in this game. I don't I don't know what it does. Yet. Promotes growth, but reduces speed. Oh yeah, that's like EVs and stuff. I thought that was um. I kind of for a minute thought thought that that said Muscle Band like. The, that registered in my mind as Muscle Band and not Macho Brace, and that would have been a lot tighter. Because then we could give that to Tandra, and it would be over. I just want the Executor! Please! Thunder Punch, Tandra! Oh, things can live. Things can live it if it's not- OH COME ON! You're telling me we could have gotten an executor with Spore? And instead we got... Karen. Oh well, before I even decide whether or not I want to keep using, uh, Karen, let's go scope out- let's go scope out this route. Can we get a Rapidash? Can we get a Rapidash?
my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Sun, Flora, Pog. Hey, hey, you're new here? You know what else was on this route? Rapidash. <laughs> Rapidash was on this route. <laughs> and what do I do? The last route had Executor and I got Jinx. <laughs> oh my god, we might actually not get it. <laughs> Do I risk attacking it? Yeah, yeah, okay. It resists. It resists. The executor lives, so this might live too. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for Tandra to wake up. Tandra's gonna shockwave, it's gonna resist. And live. Yeah, sweet! We're not gonna do it again, because I'm scared. We're gonna throw a paper. Ah! So you're telling me, like, not only do, not only do we not get the Rapidash, we just don't get a Pokemon this route at all. I'm out of Pokeballs. I have to go buy more. See, like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna buy 10 and get a Premier Ball as an added bonus. I just, I can't right now. I really can't with this game. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. <laughs> So you see the thing about the thing about randomizer runs is that they're always hilarious. Like there's there's an inherent funny factor to randomized pokemon. <laughs> now let's see what we get on this route. You know what? I dig it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch into Karen. The Jinx is named Karen because I didn't have another name that wasn't just god off. Icicle Spear time. I promise, guys, I'm not going to intentionally sacrifice Karen just because I don't like Jinx. Powder Snow with Freeze Hats, please? Karen? 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 See, that wasn't a risky play because I knew that um, that the 4 damage was a high roll. Then we switch back into Tandra. Okay, we're gonna throw the Premier Ball now. You know, Premier Ball for good luck.
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna Oh my gosh, we can't do this because we can't weaken the Whalmer any further or it'll die. Tandra is too strong! Oh my gosh. Did I also forget to... Did I forget to pull the potion out of my, um... Oh my gosh. Hey, guys, are we about to miss two encounters in a row because because Tandra's just that spawn? Are we about to have to decide that Tandra is just the only Pokemon we need? Okay, we got the Whalmer. Uh, oh my gosh. Hey, Whalmer nicknames, please. Whalmer nicknames in the chat. Uh, that is if, if, uh, stream catches up to where I am right now before I just, like, make random noises and then name it. That is not going to be my Whalmer nickname, Bad Garlic. No. Marino. <laughs> this my naming scheme is I just like make noises and then I get there. That's how we got Tandra, and that's how we got Marino. Uh, now let me update the stream layout one more time, because we've got another new team member. Tano and Tandra. There we go. Welcome to the team, Marino. Also, like, it's all girls. Was the Sunflora a girl? Is that uh, was it not? Is that why we couldn't catch it because it wasn't a girl? Yes, I would very much like to rest my Pokemon, Nurse Joy. Now that is nowhere near as appealing as the other two. Now, yeah, that <laughs> firmly anchors the. What does suction cups do? <laughs> oh my gosh! Am I just gonna have to? Oh my god, what does that do? Okay, okay, so, um... Are we gonna talk about how Generation 3's, like, ability descriptions are the freaking worst? Because... I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at all of the ones after this, and I understand what Suction Cups does perfectly. 
negates moves that force switching out. Negates foes moves that force switching out. Negates all moves that force switching out. Negates all moves and items that force switching out. Firmly anchors the body! Maybe somebody will give us something. I hope somebody gives me like a neat item. Oh, you're you're the Pokemon guy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, sure. This is Pokemon Mart. Look for the blue roof. Gosh, I don't even I don't even feel safe to like train anybody up yet, but I'm gonna try anyway. When does Whalmer learn moves? Okay, Rapidash. Oh, I think Moreno can take on this Rapidash uh, on her own. It's over, Rapidash. We have the type advantage. Okay, Marina will learn another move at level 5. And here's the thing is the movesets are randomized. Uh, the only, the only like, the only requisite is that they prefer moves of the same type. So every time we get a move, we're likely to get a water. What? Everything has Oko moves. <laughs> All right, Marino, good job. Yay. Everyone claps in the chat for Marino. I'm gonna need y'all to just appreciate Marino, okay? Yeah! <laughs> Everything has an Oko move. See, here's the thing, is they have they have a 3 in 10 chance of hitting. We've already seen two Oko moves. <laughs> this is terrifying. Skiploom? He could have gotten a little lad. Now the thing is, we have to always, always, always be scared of every move. Because, okay, if I see one more grass type that has four, okay, that's close enough. That's close enough to make me upset. You're- no, no, you're right, Marino is the little lad! We have to heal again. I was trying to I was trying to see if I ever set a fast forward button on my controller. I would like to rest my Pokemon, please. There's the Rapidash again with the Horn Drill. <laughs> oh. 
As long as you don't even, like, think about going for a horn drill, I'm okay with it. The second you try, I will hate you forever. What is that? <laughs> Okay, now it's time for Mar Marino to get level 5 and hopefully become, like, a little more competent. Clamp? I have never heard of that move in my life. What is Clamp? Okay. I mean, I'll give it this. It is technically more powerful than Bubble. Oh gosh, are you guys ready? This is it. This is the scariest part of the run, is our first, like, actual trainer battle. Oh my god. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh boy. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I mess up and walk in front of it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no! Oh god. Ah, let's do it. <laughs> Pokemon of the year, the first Pokemon trainer. You can't see no my challenge. Trainer Veronica sent out Wismer. Isn't Horn Drill a normal type move? What is Barrage?! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Please! How do you hit all five? How do you hit all five hits of Barrage? We're done using Clamp now, because we're scared. No! See, this is why we grabbed that potion. For exactly this scenario. Okay, we got the max number of turns on Clamp, though. <laughs> Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. No. This is Pokemon. Let's go Merino. God, we're gonna need so much money. I'm probably gonna sell that Macho Brace because we need that much money. Because we have to have potions. Uh, yeah, we have to have potions. We have to have Pokeballs. In fact, there's probably a potion in the PC that I've forgotten to get because I am too, like, pampered by modern Pokemon. Not enough things. It's not enough. Uh, oh my gosh. We'll say it's neat to use uh, two Gen 3 mods. <sighs> oh. 
I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon! Rich girl Tia would like to battle. Oh. Sorry. Hey, what are the odds that we get an actual bug Pokemon, though? Water is special in this game, which means you want to use special attack. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, water special in this game, which means the Metapod will have a really hard time resisting these bubbles. You know, it'd be nice if we could get the speed drop even once off of Bubble, considering uh, Metapod is just going to keep using Rocket. So we're going to talk about how much more expressive even these animations are than Sword and Shield. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are at min. We are at like min speed right now. That's it. You crit now, Marino. Marino, baby, I love you, but what are the odds that they're actually using two bug Pokemon? I didn't, I didn't even, like, hit, like, theming. I just hit, so I just hit use Pokemon of similar strength. And apparently similar strength means still use actual bug Pokemon. So how long till we get something actually crazy? Uh, hold on a moment. So, anybody here ever think about the fact that this game starts by setting a clock that you're never around to see? Like, are we going to talk about that? If we get one more in, then, uh, that's it. Oh, man. Karen time. Ah, oh, Karen. My computer wife. Okay, yeah, the clock works, but, like, the point is we're not at home to benefit from the clock working. Uh, thank you to Ford for the follow. So yeah, um, the early game especially will be a lot of running out there, having a battle, and running back to the Pokemon Center, because I cannot predict anything. There is nothing I can trust. Are you a trainer? Go around the back of this guy. That's not the right way. Are the berries randomized? Do I still get the berries? Okay, I, I get the berries still. So here's the problem. Is I am unsure how clock-based events interact with emulators. So I probably can't plant any berries. Probably. Uh-oh. Of course, of course we get spotted by a spinner the first time we run into one. Oh, she's a cop! Oh, oh, she's attacking me because she's a cop! Okay. 
she's a cop with a Pidgey. Probably gonna have like Drill Peck or something crazy. Oh, thank goodness, it's just regular Peck. So like, the early games are somehow not strategy intensive and incredibly threatening, all at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna switch to Karen. Okay. Just, you know, thought it was worth a try. Thought it'd be interesting. Oh god, that's a problem. This is Gen 3, so Poison Sting is, like, actually a problem. Stop! No! We're gonna switch into Marino. Stop it! No! Wait, 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 wait. We picked up ketchup berries a second ago, right? Please tell me that was one of the berries we picked up. Because I really only have enough potions to sustain one of them for the trip back. Wait. I think it's actually safer to just press forward. So we're gonna give we're gonna give a Petra Berry to Marino, and then we're gonna give a potion to uh, to Karen. I don't even know how much HP you lose per step, so I'm just gonna. Oh my god, it's not one to one. See? Totally doable! I'm trying to see who gives us items. You know, in Pokemon Snakewood, there's a dead lady in here. Who wants to see me play Pokemon Snakewood sometime? That game's fun. Like, I, I feel like I, I feel like it was like edgy Pokemon done right because it's also hilarious. If you do edgy Pokemon and then you're not funny about it, then you're just the worst. You're awful. Hey, can somebody tell me how I still don't have enough money to buy 10 Pokeballs? Why are the trainers on that route so stingy?
Oh boy, an item. Okay! Like, okay, I guess we just have the deep sea tooth now. That's fine. There was Haunter on this route. We're going to punch a ghost. We're going to punch an entire ghost. It is, it's actually just kind of crazy how strong Tandra is. About to use Surskit. Yeah, no, Tandra, Tandra, take care of the Surskit. Like, for real though, can, can we just, can we just appreciate Tandra one more time? We're gonna run because, like, that fight's just gonna take all day. Almost what's actually on this route. an egg. Yes, my children. Supply me with your nutrients. But didn't you give us the nutrients that we have? Silence. You will be returning them soon. Okay. So to recap, um, we have dropped one encounter this entire time, and it was a sun floor. <laughs> so. Uh, it's not even worth selling the Deep Sea Tooth, because we might actually get a Clam Pearl. There's, there's a chance of that. So I might as well just keep the Deep Sea Tooth, and... These trainers don't even give you that much money. Isn't there only one Deep Sea Tooth in the game anyway? Like, in 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 normal Emerald, isn't there even isn't there usually just one Deep Sea Tooth? So why would why would this only cost a hundred? I'm going 
going to stay with my relatives in Burden Turf Town. I've never caught a Pokemon before, I don't know how. So, you know, I do appreciate... I do appreciate, um... The way this game does its catching tutorial, where it's less a tutorial for you, and more the beginning of someone's character arc. But, like, I would still rather not have to watch the whole thing. What's Wally gonna get? What's Wally gonna get? What is Wally gonna get? Wally gets a Rhydon, or Rhyhorn. Rhydon is the evolution of Rhyhorn. I know Pokemon. Norman gave Wally a Corsola. Rhyhorn has Drought! <laughs> And, and roll out. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Is Wally going to fail the catching tutorial? I don't... Okay, so I did set it to randomize catching tutorial, but I don't know if that means that Wally can lose. Oh, okay, he's about to throw the ball. I assume- what? <laughs> Wally just turned into a Corsola because of drought. <laughs> That's amazing. Here, I'm, I'm about to take a screen cap of that like on the screen, just to make sure we have it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Wally, Wally replaced himself with a Corsola that was green. Okay, we did it! Wally won! <laughs> Wally has a Rhyhorn now! Yay! If you want to become a Pokemon a strong Pokemon trainer, head to Rustboro. You should challenge Roxanne. Pokemon gyms and gym leaders understood. Gym leader battle one day, Garmore. Yeah! What's our health looking like? Okay, so we're going to switch Karen up front. Oh, hey, cool dude. I roam in the land and search talent trainers. Sorry to take your time. Sorry? But what was that about? I actually don't know what that's about. Do you have an item in here for me? Hey, Wally's parents? Hey, Wally's parents? Are you going to give me free stuff? Wally's parents aren't about to give me stuff. That's a shame. I checked everywhere I could for free stuff, and it just wasn't happening. Okay. Pretty neat, actually. I like Megane. I think there should have been a Mega Megane. But for real though, why are like the why why is why is Whalmer the only non-fully evolved Pokemon we've run into? Oh no, not again! We can't do this again! I'm not strong enough for this! <laughs> now that Karen's freed from the vine, we gotta switch to Tandra. Oh my god, I'm not strong enough for this! I can't do it! I can't handle this anymore! I can't take it! <laughs> Hey, uh, okay, we're going to Bulbapedia. May gain... Oh, okay, I don't need to. I'm just that good. 
was about to check Meganium's catch rate, but like, okay. The fragrance of a Meganium's flower soothes and calms emotions. In battle, it gives off more of its calming scent to blunt the foe's spirit. Ew! This is our first boy! This is Audrey 3. Um, so we will welcome to the team Audrey 3. So I was actually originally going to use the Pokemon Team Tracker, but I could not figure out how to make it interface effectively with the uh, with the stream display. So instead, I'm actually just using these sprites that were in the files of the Pokemon Team Tracker and updating my team manually. So yeah, um, actually, yeah, let, let's, let's scope out Audrey 3 before we go any further. Because Audrey 3 had Grass Whistle, so that's pretty neat. Find Grass Whistle, Absorb, Find Whip. Let's go! Welcome to the team, Audrey 3! By the way, if you want to draw, like, anything from this stream, just tag me in it on Twitter. Um, my Twitter is the same as my, uh, Twitch name. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, you know, Karen was almost, like, brutally destroyed, but we did get Audrey free, so that is okay. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. Sorry, I'm trying to you know, we count through a battle. Yeah, we're going to pick more berries. Now, it's important to note that because time-based events don't seem like they will work, <laughs> all of these berries are precious commodities. So, this would normally be a Magikarp. Let's see what awful thing happens to me here. Oh, okay, not too bad. That's fine. Looper is fine. But it is level 9, and that's the issue. That was about to be not fine. Looper is a ground type already. I forgot. We got trouble! I thought... Uh, I thought Wupu was like Shell Us, well, it, where it was, um... Wow, thanks chat! <laughs> thanks for it! Stream delay didn't get to me in time, though. I thought Wupu was like Shell Us, where like it's water type in the first evolution, then water ground in the second.
Oh my gosh! Okay, Marina, let's go! Marina, we need you! Marino, no! Oh my gosh. So the problem is, if Lick gets the Paralyzed, we're in big trouble. So we just have to hope that Wooper keeps going for Bubble. Unfortunately, Wooper did get the speed drop off of Bubble. So um, we have to keep getting the speed drops on it, or else it will catch up to us. GG Marino! You couldn't have crit like two turns earlier, save me the stress. <laughs> Chancer Max. You know, at least we didn't get gold up, because, like, that's enough. It's enough water types. Now we gotta go back to the Pokemon Center, because I cannot afford to use potions when they are not strictly necessary. So yeah, we do have- the problem with this is we do have to fight all of the trainers because we need the money. Okay, so this is... Trainer Jill. It's just, um, it's just sheer cold. Okay. Yeah, moves are randomized. Um, I do have a setting in place that says that they prefer moves that are the original typing of the Pokemon. But other than that, uh, moves are randomized. Um, terrified right now. Raised physical defense, don't care, water's special. Oh, I'm sorry to Bad Garlic's cat. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Alright, let's keep going, Marina. See, because we need we need both the experience and the money. What is what what is that? That's Skull Bash. That Skull Bash. Oh, no. 
No, no, don't even joke. Don't even joke. Something's gonna come in with explosion, and we're gonna, like, cry. Oh my god. Please just don't use Skull Bash again. <laughs> what, what did I tell you? Okay, we just have to KO with this bubble. Huh. See, we're safe, we're safe, everything's fine, it's okay! We're going back to town and also to buy items. There's there's a rich lady on um at the end of this route. I actually don't know if they randomized money drops. Because like I don't know I don't know enough about um emeralds or like Gen 3 in general to know how to know where the money drops are. And of course Every time we buy Pokeballs, we make sure to do it ten at a time because we are going to need the Premier Ball. Just guarantee. There is no way that we will not be so strapped for cash that we don't need the that we need the Premier Ball. Okay, there's only one more trainer on this route. It's you. So you're a rich lady normally, but you are now Reader Pie. Okay, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna powder snow the Pidgey. See how that does. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Okay, yeah, payout's pretty good. Hello, it's the beginning of goodbye. I hope we meet again. Aww, yeah. Yeah! Oh no, that was that would be awful. It would be awful if we if we had the if she had the folder store and we didn't Oko. Um <laughs> Oh yeah, well since explosion was just talked about, I would like to mention that as long as Karen's in, we don't have to worry about it. Karen has damp. Everybody is healthy, so we're gonna go ahead into Petalburg Woods. Encounter! Yo! Yo! We wrapped Sand Slash and Sand Slash wrapped us back, but like with Stab. Stop it! <laughs> okay, now that Karen is free, now that Karen is free, we have to switch. We can't switch into Tandra because this is a ground type Pokemon, so we're gonna switch into Marina. Stop it! <laughs> I 
Y'all, it is going to be a miracle if we can finish this game. It is absolutely going to be a miracle, because I just got critted twice in the span of three turns. Let's go. Okay, so here's the thing. Is okay, if we don't catch it by the next time we're free from Sand Tomb, we have to run. Like, if we do not catch it now, we have to leave. STOP! <laughs> no! Oh my god. Oh my god, Marino. Marino! Oh my gosh. Marino! No, 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 no. That space stays empty until our next encounter. In memory of Marino. Oh my god. No, we're, we're out. We're out. <laughs> oh. She was so young! We knew her for like an hour! Marino! <laughs> oh. Marino. Let you down. down. We'll be back. We'll be back. Forget the past. You 
God, already? Like, we can't, we can't have this already? By the way, I got an ad on the on the like replay of my own stream. Twitch is showing me ads to quote, no no no, not to support me, to support sw support Twitch. You can't show a Cheetos KFC advertisement at my funeral. Okay, I guess it's not my funeral, but like, <laughs> God, she was so young. She was so young. She was so young, and also we're out in encounter. She was so young. She was just a beautiful little ball that everyone loved. Stay away from me. I don't want any more ground type Pokemon anywhere near me. I just, I don't want it to all come tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down, you know? There should only be ads at you. So this does mean, though, that we're going to have to stop and, like, start getting levels. It also means that Karen is about to have to become an integral part of the team. Sorry, guys. Karen's here to stay. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Yo, Meganium gives a lot of experience, though. Meganium must be over, like, Zigzagoon in this, in this area or something. I don't know. You have to sign up. You have to sign up <laughs> to be a uh, to be a, a funeral donor for the Super Bowl. <laughs> Larvitar. You know. Okay. Again, not to hate on Audrey three, but like. Target. 
I actually think randomizers are Pokemon in their truest form. You'd never know what's happening next, and it's so good. Like, this is just pure, unmitigated Pokemon. You know, next stream I'll probably have like a dropped encounters and death like counter off to the side. <sighs> this is this Oh, I've, I've actually never played Pokemon Blazed. I might like. I haven't streamed much before, but like if I do stream, I'll probably be doing a lot of Pokemon, so I'll probably look like Lazed at some point. Yeah, we gotta learn Icy Wind, because, um. Yeah, I would rather have. I'd rather have Powder Snow and Icy Wind than Powder Snow and Ice and Spear. and you keep your bland potato salad to yourself! Man, shout out to Chadwick Boseman. He's a legend. So Salamance was a rare encounter on this route. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. A good Pokemon game. You gotta grind at some points, but grinding is made easier by trainers you can battle again. Oh yeah, rebattable trainer sounds like really neat and ha helpful. Wish I could rebattle some of these trainers. Versus Seeker when, Brendan? Oh wait, the Versus Seeker is called with the Poke Gear. Er, what is it called in this game? Pokenab. See, they always have a new one, every game. Like, no two regions use the same kind of phone. It's wild. Like, Sword and Shield has the Rotom phone, but then, uh, but then um, X and Y has like the, the hologram thing. Black and White has the cross transceiver. This one has the, the Pokenav. Um, Gold and Silver had the had the Poketch. Or no no. Sinnoh had the Poketch. Gold and Silver had the Poke Gear. Like, they always have a new one. Even in the games where it's like not stated that time is passing between them, where they, they could arguably be happening simultaneously. Like, just just synchronize your technology already. Oh yeah, Poketch is great. Pokech is great. I'm currently replaying uh, Platinum. I will return again once more.
Hey, so I actually decided that maybe it's a uh, time to wrap up the stream for the night because I've got food I need to eat. <laughs> So I'm, so like, I'm hungry, there's food like right next to me now, and I think I'm just gonna go back to the town, heal, and then we're done for the night. <laughs> this has been our first uh, randomized Emerald stream, I hope you guys had a lot of fun, because I sure did. Of course... We do have to... We do have to look one more time at our regrets. Box number 14. Regrets. See you guys next time. Possibly tomorrow? Possibly not. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Gleaming Garmore to know exactly when I stream, because I will always tweet about it. Always. See you guys then. <laughs>